Today, I would like to discuss areas and perimeters of basic geometry shapes. Let's start by defining what an area is. You may have first learned about the definition of area by having a rectangle that is divided up into different squares that we would call units and counting them up and saying that the area of this rectangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units squared. And the perimeter is basically the distance around the shape. So let's start with the formula. Let's take a rectangle. One side is the length, the other side is the width. L and W. The area of a rectangle is length multiplied by the width. The perimeter is just adding up all the sides and it's 2L plus 2w, because there's a width on every side and a length on every side. Now, triangles. The area for a triangle is one-half base times height. So here is the height, and this would be the base. Now, you could do it from here, too, and then if you were given this as the base, the height would be going this way, and that would be the base. The perimeter is just adding up all three sides. So the perimeter will be S1 plus S2 plus S3, or if they're labeled, it will be A plus B plus C. Now, there is one more formula for finding the area of a, uh, of a triangle. It's called Heron's formula. This formula states that if S is equal to A plus B plus C over 2, which is if you have a triangle, A, B, C, then, so this is half the perimeter. If S is half the perimeter, then the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of S times S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. So this is a very helpful formula when you have the values for all the sides of a triangle. So you just take half of the perimeter, multiply it, and then multiply it by the half the perimeter minus one side, half the perimeter minus another side, and do that again for the third side. And that is Heron's formula. Now for circles, the area of a circle is pi r squared. The circumference, circumference is another word for perimeter, but in the case of a circle we say circumference, and it's 2 pi r. However, r is a radius. Radius is from the center of the circle to any point along this line. So this is a radius this is a radius, this is a radius, kind of like spokes on a wheel, but they all originate at the center of the circle. So the circumference can also be written as 2 pi d. d is a diameter. Diameter is from one, from any point on the, on the circle, but through the center to the other side. So if that's the center, it'll go through the center to an, another point on the, to two points of the circle. So the diameter is 2 times the radius, which is why 2r equals d. So the circumference of a circle is also equal to pi d. Now, how about a trapezoid? The formula for a trapezoid area is 1 half b1 plus b2 times the height. So if this is base 1 and this is base 2 and the height is here, like that, then 1 half times this base times that base, so you're kind of averaging the bases and multiplying it by the height. And the circumference again, or the perimeter, rather, sorry, of the trapezoid would just be the sum of all four sides.